Today we're going to talk about a value-added features that Young Industries provide, factory acceptance test, also known as an FAT. During an FAT, what we do is we take the purchased equipment, set it up to the greatest extent practical, and operate it as though it was in a plant setting. We can maintain tolerances, rates, and what have you to determine we're meeting the required specifications of the job. In this particular case, a customer, a major manufacturer of drywall, came to us with a batching requirement. They're handling three different very cohesive materials and we came up with a batching system that should meet their specifications. So the material for this batching operation is going to be provided to us in bulk bags. So we've provided a bulk bag lifting frame shown here without the top sections because our FAT room is not tall enough to complete the structure. The bags are positioned materials discharged. We'll show you some of those features a little bit later. Through a Young Industries Transflow hopper, through a Young Industries Stinger feeder, into a way hopper. We will batch materials one at a time, checking our tolerances and our rates. And once the batch is complete in the way hopper, we will deliver it to the final destination. To start, the operator will lift and position the bulk bag into either a vibratory feeder, or in this case, a bulk bag massager. The difference between a massager system or a vibratory feeder is dependent on the material. Very cohesive materials may require a heavy duty massager to break the agglomerated material apart and allow it to flow out of the bag. The second feature is the vibratory hopper. A little less cohesive materials the material can be vibrated within the bag. It'll break free and dispense into the charging hopper. With the bulk bag in the position, the operator will access the bulk bag spout by reaching up and pulling it down and not untying it. The bulk bag is then positioned around the bulk bag access ring and the clamping device is positioned into place, thus giving it a dust-free connection. The material will only flow into the access hopper and from there into the batching system. Once material is in the bulk bag access hopper, the conical section of the hopper, which is lined with Young Industries transfer fluidizing media, is energized, conditioning the material to allow it to flow freely out of the hopper. From there, it enters the stinger. With the, each of the bulk bag access hoppers charged with material, we're now ready to batch. A batch recipe will be entered into the system and systematically each of the stingers, or in this case there's also a stinger screw feeder, will start and the material will leave the stinger feeders and enter the way hopper. During the batch, batching process, dust control and residual air is taken care of with a Young Industries single tube filter. Once the batch is complete, fed from the stinger feeders, the batch weight is checked, ready to go to the final destination, the customer's process. That is delivered by Young Industries dense phase product pump. In this application, the ideal conveying method is a Young Industries dense phase product pump. The advantage to a factory acceptance test is it allows you to run your equipment in a factory condition, check rates, check tolerances, and basically prove out the equipment before you, it gets delivered to your site and installed. It also allows if there are any changes required, they can be made here at our factory, which is much easier than doing it in the field. So the advantages are great. We're set up to do it with nearly any equipment we sell. Definitely something to be considered.